Hey guys, how's it going? And in today's video, we'll be doing a bit of verbal reasoning for the 2020 UCAT exam. So, a lot of you are probably working very hard to prepare for your UCAT exams, and of course, they are really important to do well in, in order to get a rather easy medical school application process. So, with no further ado, let's get on to Medify, and let's begin doing some questions. In the verbal reasoning section, let's get cracking. So remember, with verbal reasoning questions, a key tip is skimming, so sort of going through the article quickly, then reading the questions and finding the key words that'll help you answer the question as fast as possible. Which of these was not a factor of the Hillsborough disaster? Right, so the Hillsborough disaster... Um, mm, mm, mm. Yeah, so on, because there's overcrowding over here, overcrowding enclosures, too many um, tunnels unmanned, yep. And um, then you got the too many people being let go. Home ground of Nottingham Forest, there's a match between the two. Standing curious is the worst location of the stadium. Mm. It's the worst, yeah, in England. Okay, not European. So I think the last one is going to be the only one that is, right? So it doesn't talk anything about standing terraces actually, it talks about crushing fences. So although it doesn't have standing terraces, or didn't have it, obviously, it mentions how after the incident they got rid of them, therefore there must have been some there. Which of the following took place after the crush? Fans sort of falling on top of each other. Yep, advertising hoardings use stretchers. So supporters carry the injured away in stretchers. Why was it overcrowding? Was it overcrowding because there's only one accessible route into it? So what I was doing there was just sort of skimming for words and finding um, the relevant sentences. Yes, we got all of them correct. Good work. Voting system to his political opinions. Okay. Zero. You can't really tell her actually. Doesn't talk much about labour. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this question is talking about labour and the Conservatives and the Lib Dems, and actually um, the article doesn't mention anything about them, so because there's no information about it, you can't tell. Adversarial politics is bad for democracy, so what does this say?
This defines it. The more adversarial politics becomes, the greater the erosion of voter engagement and threat to the democratic process. So yes, that's true. So it's being threatened. It must involve two sides of any argument. Winning the driving principle versus establishing the truth. Doesn't actually say. Actually, it must involve two sides of any argument. Well, yes, because um, you're always trying to counter the argument that the other person's making, so that's got to be true. The goal of adversarial politics is to win the argument against your adversaries. It's sort of the w winning of it. Um, yeah, that is true actually. You try to win the argument as opposed to have a good argument, so fair enough. Right, let's see about that. Yep, yeah, awful correct again. Good work. Right, let's quickly skim this. Uh, we'll skim the paragraph, and we'll look at the questions, then we'll answer questions. Which of the following? Well, this is quite analytical. They talk about um, very much what's good about them, what's bad about them, how they work, and what their disadvantages are, and how the internet advertising medium will move forwards. So I'd say analytical is a good one to describe it. Flexible creativity. Yep. Um, the largest point at which they differ, I'd say it's the pace at which the medium evolves. Evolves, yeah. Different dynamics of internet. Yeah. What's what practice is the best of click forward? Click forward down here, wasn't it? So, Greece are up leads when a competitor clicks another competitor's adverts to make it more expensive because it's per click you get, you have to pay for it. So, I'm um, clicking the banner, which is none. Yeah, a clinic, yeah. So yeah, clicking the banner and tokens and rival companies. No, banner actually pay per click ads. It's specifically the pay for click ads that competitors will click to perform click for. That should be pretty good. We'll see. Oh, well great. Good work. So now let's do more of this. 
So yeah, the key trick here that you can see that works quite effectively is quickly skimming the paragraphs, identifying what key topics are in different parts of the paragraph. And then you read the question, and then you sort of go back to the paragraph, and you kind of know where to look in the paragraph. So as you can see, the first question again will take the longest period of time, since we are actually um, reading the actual paragraph. So um, once you know the paragraph, then the next question just get easier and faster, because we already have indexed the paragraph in the heads practically. Each NHS system uses GPs, yes, great. Specialist services, pharmacies are probably owned contracts, great. Ambulance services, mm -hmm. supplemented by voluntary ambulance services, yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Air ambulances, specific agencies, yep, great. Eagle military steps in. Also provides dental services through propane. Half the income dentists, some contract work, well, okay, fine. Great, okay. So which of the following, th seems like ambulance is best supported by the information in the message? Patients which pay, no, Red Cross runs a voluntary ambulance service, yes. Red Cross and British, uh, British Red Cross and Central Ambulance conduct a majority, no, they don't conduct a majority, they provide supplementary ambulance services. Air uh, ambulances are funded by the NHS. Um, no, because they are, you know, just run both with naval, military, and local police. So I think the voluntary one is quite good. That's right. One. If the information in the passage is presumed to be true, which of the following is also likely to be true? That a patient can use a bicycle ambulance and charge the expense on the NHS? No. That for a patient to require an ambulance, he would need to phone in advance? No. That a patient will never pay for dental services in his lifetime? Possibly. That if a patient cannot be treated by the primary physician, he will be sent to a hospital? Well, yes, because the primary primary physician is a GP, so then he'll be sent to the hospital if they can't be treated for specialist care. So that is true. Under which of the following conditions is a patient allowed to use the ambulance for free? Uh, the armfit travel home by public transportation. That is true. Because they collect prescription medicine? No. Schedule appointment with a psychiatrist? Possible. Hmm. Yeah, I think the second one. Although a psychiatrist is a good example, and if someone is mentally ill, it would be good to go to a hospital. I think it'll probably be B, because someone is unfit. They do have like hospital shuttle buses, but if someone's really unfit, um, then it might be B. Right. According to the passage, Scottish Ambulance Service provides service via. Patient transport services by air are provided by the Scottish Ambulance Service. So by air, yep. Mm -hmm. Actually, I'd say this is quite a nice bit of verbal reasoning here at the moment. Nothing too difficult. Yep, all correct again. So do you see we spent quite a long time on the first one, but that's also because we're speaking to you, and then our time drops to 37, 50, and 17 seconds. So in the actual exam, I think in verbal reasoning you have roughly yeah, at least um, 40 seconds per question, I think, or something along those lines. So, yeah, you have some time. Right, let's do one more set and then we'll call it a day. So, Tour de France and annual cycling race, France, in other countries, number three, to increase newspaper sales. Okay, so the race was there for, for like newspaper sales increases annually in this edition. Okay, stop to two world wars, July. Pyrenees, Alps, very nice. French National Zulide, Paris. The route is not. Wait. Traditional race okay, in July. The format of the race is the same with the appearance of time trials. With the, oh, the appearance of time trials, the passage through the Pyrenees, the Alps, and the finish on the Champs Elysees in Paris. But the route does not. Okay. So what I'm saying is that. Certain features stay the same, but the route can change, but the features also appear as well. Teams in 2022, nine riders in each. All stages are timed to finish, and they're compounded with the previous stage times. Mm -hmm. Okay. Tour de France uses the same route every year? No. Tour de France did not play, take place in 1917? Yes, because it was, it was top for the World Wars. Winning a stage is a fiercely contested, a fiercely 
challenge contester. Mm -hmm. Yep, it's a hotly contested competition. If 20 teams took part in 20 France, there would be 198 participants. No, because there'll be at least 400. Because each. Actually, no, that's wrong. Yeah, 20 teams with 9 riders in each, that's 180. So we 180, not 198. Right, that should be it. So, fingers crossed, we've got this correct. Oh, we've got one question incorrect. Why is that? Tour de France did not take place in 1917. World War II was 1914-18. Okay, fine. This is saying that it... <laughs> it didn't say exactly which years the World Wars lasted, and so it says... It, we're not sure if it could have lasted only for like what it could have not happened for one year of the world war or for a few years of the world war so fair enough okay well hopefully doing these questions has been useful and if you have found it useful please do like and subscribe go check out medify and get cracking with questions yourself there's some other videos where we do other sections of the ucat so go check it out and yes thank you for watching and i'll see you guys soon in the next video Bye bye